Welcome back to Big Baby J TV, man. And I just gotta hop into it, man. We're not playing games, man. Yesterday, specifically August 26th, 2020, NBA players said we had enough, man. We had enough. And it started with George Hill, who made the stand and brought it up towards his teammates, the Milwaukee Bucks, that in the wake of the shooting, of Jacob Blake that they should protest by not playing that playoff game against the Orlando Magic. What transpired, what happened? I'll tell you what happened. What happened is Giannis Antetokounmpo, the all-star, you know, MVP, defensive player of the year, stood with his guys, and those guys all protested, which included the owner of the Milwaukee Bucks standing behind his players, which thus started a roller coaster uh, of events where all NBA players, all teams that were supposed to be playing that same day, yesterday, on Wednesday, August 26th, decided not to go play in that bubble, man. And I'm telling you, man, this is what I love. I love this. I love this. I wrote a blog about it, man. Link in the description. And I was trying to break down how important that is, man. We are in a society right now where a lot of people like to talk. Man. A lot of people have opinions. Bro, I literally made this YouTube channel to talk. I love talking, too. But there's something that we can do which is bigger than talking, and that's action. And these NBA players decided, hey, bro, we're done with the hashtags. We're done with the T-shirts. We're done with the spray painting of the NBA floor. We're done with all of that. We need action. Now, what happened? What was the result of that? What happened was they forced uh, the attorney general of Milwaukee to actually speak to them. They forced some kind of change and reform. And this is more than most politicians are willing to do. Keep in mind in, in what happened with George Floyd. In May on May 29th, 2020. Yeah, man, 2020 is nuts. <laughs> so in May, when George Floyd was tragically killed on camera, another black man, there was all this talk about reform, about change. We're gonna make something happen. What the hell did these politicians do? Look, multiple states. In the U.S., we're fighting to end qualified immunity. What is qualified immunity? Qualified immunity is the basic law that police can be overly aggressive and actually shoot and kill people. And they are qualified to do it. And they are immune from getting charged, charges against them. That means that in a lot of states in the U.S., a policeman can shoot your behind and they are not as culpable as a regular citizen. Do you understand how many states tried to push that after George Floyd died? About 30. Do you know how many states actually got that done? One. One state. After we all saw a man get his, his get killed with a knee on his neck. Now look, is Jordan Blake is uh, Jacob Blake is he the is he the first? No, Rodney King. We all saw it in 1992. Is he the last? Hell no, because there there will be a new hashtag next week, next month. It's an election year. We know this. We know the programming. We understand that these fans, these flames are getting fanned up. We all know this. Okay, now. I'm not an American. I'm a Canadian person. But what's happening here? Are we exempt? Hell no. Nah. Police brutality and the inequality towards black people is prevalent here. Let me give you a, a quick summary. About a month ago, Regis Korshinsky Paquet, sorry if I mispronounced it, was flung from her apartment building by police officers, a 29-year-old black woman, black and Aboriginal. And guess what happened after 
the internal investigating body for the Toronto police. Guess what they decided today? They decided that the police officers were cleared in her death. So basically, the people who investigate the cops cleared the cops. Don't you understand that these mechanisms and these systems are made for a lot of us to not make it and not get real justice? This is what the NBA players were essentially fighting for. This is what they are fighting for. Now, let this maybe, you know, I'm not qualified to speak on those details. That's okay. Let's move it to Ottawa. What's happening over here? If you know anything about our city, we have a lot of police officers who go in minority schools. So schools that have a lot of minorities in them usually have a police presence. We all know why. (laughs) There's always that stereotype. There's violence and crime and drugs and everything bad happening. Two of those schools, Gloucester and Ridgemont, had a vote yesterday with school trustees for the Ottawa Carlton District School Board to see if they needed more police or less policing inside those two high schools. Guess what the vote ha- ha- guess what happened at the vote? Y'all can take a guess. 8 to 3 to have more police officers inside those schools. And now you question why these NBA players stood up If you have a heart, if you have empathy, you understand that pain, that hurt. Because these NBA players didn't only see Jacob Blake get shot. They saw their cousin. They saw their nephew, their uncle. They saw maybe themselves through that video. So we're no longer going to take the lip service, bro. We're no longer going to say, oh, it's all good. They wrote BLM in a tweet. Oh, it's all good. They spray painted Black Lives Matter. Oh, it's all good. They made another mural. No, man. We ain't playing them games, bro. We are going to pull up on racists. We are going to pull up on people who are socially unaware. We are going to hold these millionaires and billionaires accountable. If you say you are with us, then be with us and don't be against us. Point blank, period. And if you're against us, identify yourself quickly. Point blank, period period and that's that i'm proud of these players even if they go to play tomorrow or saturday i want them to understand what they did they stopped the entire sports world with one move and if they do not hold these owners accountable if these owners and these people in power who have the strength and the money to put words into actions if they do not do that then i hope these nba players strike again because they know their power and i'm proud of them and i want us to initiate that change i want us to be people who are not just talkers we're about that action thanks for listening to big baby j like comment subscribe we in this let's get it